Hey guys, what's up? It's Fern. Thank you so much for joining me for another planty video. Today we are going to be focusing on my Vitz Show plant shelf, which is right behind me here. I put this plant shelf up in, I believe, July. So I've had it for about half a year now, which is kind of crazy. It doesn't feel like I've had it for that long, but I have a full setup video if you're interested in that. I will link it down below in the description where I build the shelves, install the lights. So yeah, check that out if you're looking for more details. It's actually three separate shelves. This um, like single tall one here, the lower like wide one here, and then the double shelf over here. This whole shelf setup just really needs some love. Not only the plants, but just the shelves. They need to be cleaned. I wanna clean underneath of them. I just wanna do a whole kind of refresh of this area. And part of that is going to be installing a new plant light, which I'm really excited about. If you can see behind me here, there is one of the like clamp arm grow lights, which works great, honestly, but it just doesn't give the, the visual effect that I would prefer. I really want something that's gonna be a little bit more aesthetic and also just out of the way because this definitely gets in the way when I'm trying to move these Anthurium um, out to water them and stuff. It can be a little bit of a pain in the butt. So I've actually gone ahead and got a new grow light to try out. And I'm actually thinking about, this is a side note, but I've been thinking about making a whole video talking about all of the different grow lights that I have. I saw a comment the other day requesting that and I was thinking about it already anyways because I am using so many different brands of grow lights. So I feel like I could kind of go through all of them and share my thoughts. But anyways, I say that because I'm trying out a grow light that I've never used before. I'm really excited to try it out. Take it out of here. gosh, the box, the cardboard just fell onto my calathea. Okay. Can you tell which one it is yet? All right, so this light is from Rousseau Plant Care, which I've talked about Rousseau Plant Care a lot. I ordered this on Black Friday, so I've definitely been putting off installing it, um, but we're, we're getting her done today. And I also have the mount for it. Oh my goodness, I have to go grab it and show you. It's so nice. Okay, so this is the mount that the light is going to be hanging off of. So this is going to be screwed into the wall and then the light is gonna come over and hang down from here. And I just think that this is gonna look so nice. I love, um, just like the look of this wood. I think it's just gonna look amazing. I'm gonna put it in the middle here so it's gonna give light to my Ethereum or whatever plants I choose to put there in the future. Anyways, I wanted to try out this light because if you're a regular viewer, then you've probably heard me talk about Rousseau Plant Care before. I love them as a brand. I love all the products that I've tried from them. I'm a huge fan of their moss poles and also the moss pole supports that he makes. Um, I use their pot extenders. I wish that I lived in the US that I could order his plants because I'm sure that the quality of those is just phenomenal. But yeah, such a great brand, so knowledgeable. Um, so yeah, I wanted to try out their grow lights and I'm really excited to see how it goes. I think this comes in white as well, but I got the black to match the shelf setup, of course. So yeah, my plan is to basically take everything off of the shelf. All the plants need to be watered as well. So we're gonna be doing plant care. We're gonna be doing shelf cleaning, reorganizing. We're gonna be installing a grow light. There's a lot going on and I cannot wait to bring you along and to get this task done because yeah, like I said, I've been putting off, you know, like installing this light and stuff for quite a while now. So today is the freaking day. All right, I'm gonna start by just kind of measuring where I want the light to be while the plants are still on here so I can get a kind of idea of how high I want it to be from them. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is take off this clamp light. I'm gonna have to unplug it here. Where is it plugged in? Oh. Oh, the sun is going away, but honestly, that works better for me for filming right now anyways. So yeah, this is the light that I was using on there. <clears throat> this is just from Amazon. And honestly, it works great. Like this light has served me really well since I've had it. I've used it in a lot of different scenarios and for a lot of different plants and it gives out really good light. 
I can link that one down below for y'all as well. Okay, what now? Now we need to figure out the height. I think I'm gonna move these front. <gasps> oh my gosh, my bakery is blooming again, you guys. Oh my gosh. I cannot believe that. Oh, whoopsies. I just broke it. That's fine. I was gonna cut it off anyways because I literally have like 200 babies growing right now from this plant already. Wow. Mama needs to slow down. I measured this before, but now I can't tell which mark was the one I put. Oh my gosh. Oh, right, there's two because there's two screws. Okay, I think I wanted it here. So I just kind of want to see with the light what that's going to be like. And with this light, what's cool about this is that the beam, the angle of the beam is adjustable. I don't really know how to do it, but so you can change it depending on what light intensity you want and how far it is from your plants and what like what the width of space that you're trying to cover is. You know what I mean? Like there's it's just nice that you can adjust it for different situations and different plants. I'm going to be able to adjust it a little bit um, with where it's going to be. This is like not a great angle. Should I move you over? There, I feel like that's better. You might be able, be able to actually see what I'm doing now. So what I was just saying is that I'm going to be able to adjust how high or low this is, like, you know, to some degree because it's just gonna be like going over this thing, um, which is also nice. So right now I have it marked for about there, which I feel like that's gonna be good. I feel like that's gonna be good. I don't think I want it much higher than that. But what if I ever put taller plants here? It's kind of hard to predict hmm with it here the highest I'd be able to put it is here hmm I feel like this is going to be good oh and I also have a little hook to adjust the the angle that the light is sitting at so I'm going to be able to pull it tilt it in a little bit which I think is going to be helpful I don't know if I'll need to use that but it could be helpful if I do need it. It's so hard for me to tell. I wish that someone else was here to hold it so that I could look at it. But alas, I am on my own. Maybe I'll watch the footage back. Or maybe I'll just do it on my phone quickly. Okay, I've confirmed the placement, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to mount it now. I think it might be difficult with just one person, but I'm hoping that I can do it. Also, the chaos that just ensued. My silver dollar vine came crashing down when I was coming down the step stool. So I'm just gonna clean that up after we install this. Oh my gosh, this looks so good already. I cannot wait to show y'all. I'm just gonna finish tightening these. I just wanted to make sure it was looking okay before I go ahead. That was a super, super easy install. I really appreciate that they sent the self-drilling drywall anchors so that I don't have to even use a drill. That's so nice. Okay. Yeah, this is super, super sturdy on there. Oh wow, this is so nice. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've been dreaming of putting this up for so long. I can't believe it's up. I can't believe it's up. I think that that placement is gonna work 
really well because if I ever want to put taller plants there, plants on poles or anything, I can just like pull it up a little bit and then there's still lots of room. I could pull it down and make it lower if I'm wanting to get it closer to those plants or if I put shorter plants or anything in there. I just think that this is going to be a really versatile setup and I'm so, so happy with how it's looking. I need to sort out the cord obviously still, but wow, that is so stunning. Oh my goodness. I couldn't be happier with it. Okay, so I'm just gonna fiddle around with it. I'm gonna get the cord all sorted out and I'm gonna get it turned on, figure out if I want to use the hook to kind of um, tilt it in so that the light is facing the plants more. I'm gonna kind of sort out all those details and then I'll show y'all the like final setup of it, I guess. Oh my gosh, and I need to clean this up too still. Okay, so I figured out that screwing this in widens the beam and unscrewing it, like the more you unscrew it, the more narrow the beam is going to get. I also don't have the little hook thing that angles it in. I thought that I did have one, but I do not. So am I even recording? Yes, I am. Okay. I was like, no. Um, so if I decide, I don't even know if it needs it because honestly, these plants could just get like pulled out a little bit. Um, so I don't know if I even am gonna want to angle it in. It kind of works well like this because then the light is in front of the plants and they're gonna want to face out. But anyways, we're just gonna kind of see how it goes. I'm kind of thinking that maybe I should have gotten two, like put two of them, but I don't know. It looks so nice with just the one. But I feel like this guy isn't gonna be getting a ton of light, but we'll see. We'll see how we go. If I do have to take it down and I decide I want to have two there, then I'll just do that after I paint the walls in here because that is something that I wanna do eventually and I could just easily like patch those screw holes and um, put two, one on either side. So maybe that'll be something I do in the future, but I'm just gonna see how this goes and maybe it'll be great. Just out of curiosity, I want to put it lower and see if that gives this guy any more light, but I don't think so. No, I think it's better higher. Okay, to deal with this cord management. Um, so they give you these little things to clamp the cord to the wall. Um, so I think I'm gonna end up using these. They give two. So the cord isn't gonna like slip through the um, mounting bracket thing. But in order to get back there, actually, you know what? I think I'm gonna, oh my gosh, it's so bright. I think I'm gonna take everything off of the shelves now so that I can pull it out and then I'll be able to secure the cord back there. Oh my goodness, I feel like this is gonna be, it's gonna be a little bit of an undertaking. I'm gonna have to unplug everything and so, okay. Time-lapse time, enjoy.
Okay, so I have cleared everything off of the shelves here and they're honestly even worse than I thought they were gonna be. Like, these need to be cleaned so bad. So I'm really glad that I'm doing this today because yeah, they are so grimy. There's like sticky sap from blooms. And yeah, it is just not, it's not looking good. So good thing we're doing this today. I'm gonna wipe these all down right now, clean the glass and everything. And then I'm gonna pull this out from the wall so that I can clean the floor behind there because I'm sure it's nasty. I am able to get my vacuum under there, um, but I don't think it's been mopped under there since this was put up. So I wanna give it a quick little, quick little mop under there as well. Okay, y'all, I just got the cord clampy things on the wall. I had a little bit of trouble. For some reason, the middle of this wall, there was, there's like something right behind. It seems like it's like metal or something, but I could not get the drywall anchor through. So I don't know what that's about, but I was able to go higher up and then lower, but these walls are honestly super janky. Like there's so many holes and scuffs in them already. So I'm not too worried about it. But anyways, I've got that on and now I've done like the mopping. I'm, I've done all of the shelf preparation stuff and the cleaning. So I'm gonna move the shelf back. And then I guess it's time to water the plants so that I can put them back on the shelf and we can see the final result. It's also like sunset right now. It's 4.04 and the sun is literally going down out there. So yeah, this is, this has been a project. Okay, y'all, I just have to take a quick break to eat some toast because I was getting freaking hungry. But now I'm gonna tackle this watering. I'm probably just going to, 
I'm just gonna move plants into the sink, water them, move them to this tray, whoops, and have them kind of drain. And then after that, I will move them to their place on the shelf. So it's gonna be like a little, what's it called? Like a little factory line? What's that called? Chain something? You know what I mean. Also, my boyfriend's gonna get home with groceries any minute now, so I'm probably gonna get interrupted, but I just want to kind of get started here. I have some things to put away too. My handy dandy screwdriver. And I'm making tea, more tea. I've been drinking heaps of tea today. I'm gonna put my Politiflorum back first. This one doesn't need any water. I just watered it a couple of days ago. So I'm just gonna pop her back in her spot. I have been loving her up here at the top of this shelf. Just looks so good. So hopefully she'll continue to be happy there. Okay, I was literally just talking to y'all and showing you things and apparently I forgot to hit record, so. I'm gonna go back and grab the plant that I just um, was talking about. It is my alocasia black velvet. I just topped up the um, water in here and I was also just saying that I'm not fertilizing this time because I fertilized last time. So it'll save me some time because I just need to water these plants with regular water. But um, yeah, I can't believe she has three leaves. I am breaking a record here with my alocasia black velvet and look at how cute like I'm actually obsessed. I love this plant. I love how compact it is. It's just yeah, I love it so much. This is in a self watering pot. The pots from Crystal Star Nursery. I love how it's a square. It's so cute um, and it's just in a chunky. It's in their chunky mix. I believe their chunky aeroid mix. But yeah, it's super happy with that. This is the best I've ever been able to grow this plant. So I'm gonna pop that back on the shelf. And then I am moving on to the Begonia Autumn Ember right here. This is she, wow. I don't even know if this is due for water. This one, since I potted it in such a big pot, when I repotted, it goes for a long time without needing to be watered. Oh, well, maybe it does. Yeah, okay. Well, does it? It's hard to tell sometimes. No, I think it does need water actually. Okay, great. Let's do that. Okay, I'm gonna pop this back in the cover pot. It's really satisfying being able to water these plants and then just put them back on the nice clean shelf. Feels good. All right. My Ripsalis, which is giving some cutie new growth right there. Oops. It's so sweet. Okay, my Hoya Compacta. I think that I want to move my Hoya Compacta, but I just don't know. I mean, I know where I want to move it eventually, kind of. I know I want to put it into a hanging basket so that it can really be like fully displayed and appreciated because it's so big and beautiful. Um, but for now it's gonna stay on the shelf, but I'm just not happy with the, sh the like location of the shelf that it's been on right now, so. I'm gonna try to find a better spot for it on there. The compacta was there before, but I feel like this just looks so much nicer just with these three up here, like just keeping it more minimal, you know? I don't know. I just kind of like that because it was pretty much completely blocking this begonia. Like I couldn't really appreciate it. So 
I'll probably just leave those three there. And I also, I'm not sure if my camera, if this was when I was not recording, but I put my Politiflorum up there. She doesn't need water right now, but I love that spot for her. I've been obsessed with it lately. I think maybe I'll put my compacta like here or maybe, yeah, maybe somewhere on this shelf. I'm gonna wrap some of its tendrils around the bar. Is that gonna work? My silver sword that I really need to chop and start over. It hasn't been doing great. I've, I don't know why, but I've just had the toughest time growing this plant out. I so regret getting rid of my big mature one. I, well, I've had two different big mature silver swords and I don't have either of them anymore. And I just saved cut like small cuttings like this, but I just can't seem to get this to mature at all. Anyways, I'm gonna cut the top off and then root those cuttings and start over. But is that, okay, I thought something was on it, but it's not. Anyways, yeah. <laughs> That's how this one is doing lately. And I've just popped it into this pink pot for now, even though I'm literally gonna be chopping this super soon. It lives here. I think it wasn't getting enough light from the barinas because the barina is way up here and this plant was like down here. Now it's getting taller, but it was like down here before and it just was not sizing up at all. So I think it was because it wasn't getting enough light, but yeah, it just needs to be started over. And then I also just watered the dragon scale, which lives in this little basket. Just pop her into her spot. Little cutie pie. My Aglionema Silver Bay, which is so gorgeous, but really, really needs a repot. <laughs> There's a lot of plants that kind of need maintenance on this shelf. Well, honestly, everywhere. It's not just this shelf, but... Um, yeah. I do really love this plant though. So pretty. This is kind of like a silver section. Anyways, I'm just gonna do some speed watering now. Okay, so I've pulled out some of my Anthurium Bakery because these need a little spray. You can tell that some of the cells are really dry, the lighter ones. I have another one right here. So I've just got my electric mister and I'm just going to moisten these.
Okay, I am finally finished. I've watered all of the plants and put them back on the shelf and I did end up rearranging some things and I'm really happy with how it looks. It honestly probably doesn't look super different if you're not me and you didn't know where all of the plants exactly were before, but um, I'll walk you through everything and show you what it looks like. But obviously the biggest thing that I am excited about is just the new light. I think that it looks so good. And I love the way, like since I've angled it in, it cast this kind of like arch of light it just looks so angelic and beautiful so yeah i love that so much okay so this section right here i ended up adding in this cloche i just i don't know i was gonna leave it with just the three plants and keep it really simple but i kind of wanted to add a little bit more interest to this section so i thought that this would be the perfect plant this is my begonia draco pelta in there and then of course the Rexalis. And then I also just popped in my Adansonii water props. And yeah, I'm really, really happy with how that's looking. And then the pop of color with the begonia in the back, love it. And then down here, this little section is the same with these silver plants. And then below that we have mostly, actually, yeah, I think this is all propagations down here. I ended up moving, this was kind of propagations before and I ended up bringing over some of my begonias that are in these cups and a little baby anthurium too, so that I can just have, you know, all my props kind of grouped together. I do have some begonias on another shelf, like these, more of these cups on another shelf as well. So you'll see a few more of those, but I mean, maybe I could fit more. Just, it's just that this one still kind of has mealybugs, this Hoya. So I didn't want things to be super close and touching on here. Anyways, and then I also just have my little alocasia Odora right here. I just repotted that one a couple of days ago. It had rerooted in water after suffering the root mealy situation, but now it's back into a potting mix. And then of course with the little anthurium section here, I'm super happy with the coverage of this light and now that I've angled it in a little bit, I do need to find some black string. I need to pick some up next time I'm out um, to switch out because I have that pink string up there right now and I think it'll just maybe look a little nicer with the black. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter too much, but anyways, um, yeah, really happy with how this is looking. So much better than having that clamp arm, which was like in the way of half of these plants, you know? So yeah, this just, it's perfect. Moved my compacta here as you saw. So I have, you know, just, I have my larger anthurium and then I have this row of kind of shorter plants here, which is nice. And then down here, I've grouped some of my Hoya and just like these smaller little, a lot of these plants are in moss. So it's kind of nice to just keep them grouped together because they're kind of, they kind of need watering at the same time and just similar care right now. So um, yeah. And then of course, all of my Anthurium Bakery or Bakery seedlings, they're kind of everywhere. <laughs> and then just more, just smaller plants and a succulent down there. I ended up moving my string of hearts up to the top there because it's just getting really long. Like it's still touching the floor. So I'm not going to be keeping it up there just because it's not going to get enough light at the top of it, but it's just kind of sitting up there temporarily. And then I've got a lot of my kind of trailers towards the front of this shelf with some other plants behind. I've tucked more of these begonia propagations behind just so just so, I don't know, the plastic cups obviously aren't the most aesthetic thing, so they're just kind of like hidden back there, you know? Put this olive pot right there, so cute. Um, down here we have some more trailing plants. I moved my Syndapsis Silver Cloud here, and my Variegated Hoya Bella is here. Um, this one is like so, so long, this Hoya. It is crazy how fast it grows. This is the Chingungunsis. Of course, my Pinguicula is here. And then I've also moved my Streptocarpus over here as well, which this thing has been blooming for like 10 months. I love this plant so much. The fuzzy foliage and then the beautiful flowers. It's just so cool. And then I pretty much just have the same plants down here. Some of my kind of larger plants. I have boosted some of them up. That is something that I added. Um, so that some of the plants that I felt were a little too far from the light are getting um, closer. So my alocasia maharani, which really needs a shower. It's quite dirty. But anyways, I've boosted that one. And then I also boosted my, um, what is this called? Aglionema manilis pride. 
because I just feel like that one needs a little bit more light than it's been getting. Also, I tried to show you earlier, but this is the newest leaf on my begonia. What is this? Fanny Moser, begonia Fanny Moser. And it's so much bigger than the other leaves I was getting. Like these were the biggest leaves before and now this. So it's pretty, pretty big difference. Anyways, I think that that is it. Like I said, I'm super, super happy with how this is looking. And I also just feel really good about all the cleaning and everything that I got done because yeah, it was pretty darn filthy. So yeah, I feel like I accomplished a lot with this section. So that is going to be it for this video. I hope that you enjoyed coming along with me. Thank you so, so much for watching, especially if you made it to the end. Leave me a comment down below. I'd love to chat with you. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you in the next one. Bye.